All right, and the world that never was. Interesting game one. I feel like uh, Prolific just let him go wherever. Um, that's kind of something he does, aside from, you know, extremely bad DK stages. But this stage is not too yeah. awful for DK. Um, he can definitely get some games off the side. And in general in this matchup, uh, the matchup tends to be similar in a lot of stages. Oh, and Prolific trying to gimp him off the plum. Uh, lands on up the, uh, lands on that platform with the up Um, and Ooh. Prolific getting grasped for that <laughs> F smash. You really do not see that very often. Uh, but Rayman's like pseudo tether grab, shield drop at the same time. Oh, barely avoids the fair right there though. And Prolific reads the air dodge, um, F -air or just in general, stock. puts that fair out. Forward aerial to take the first stock. Yes, we're doing this. And Uber really trying to get these confirms off, but Prolific is making it a lot harder than other players. Um, Prolific definitely not letting Rayman setting up camp uh, and everything else. He tends to be a pretty good player at doing so. Um, All right. Well, if you're trying to get some... Oh what? my god, I... what the... Sir? Yeah. Excuse Rayman... me? <laughs> Rayman seems to avoid a lot of invincible animations. Uh, fun fact, if you're invincible, Plum can get you out of it, but that down smash coming through. Sir? Um, so interesting. Um, Someone but I guess... Uh, yeah, a bug report? Can we... Uh, but... You know, prolific still with a little bit of percent lead, trying to make it count, but hitting his shield on that platform right there. Getting the instant light snap right there. Oh! Straight plums. Yeah. That fair? Oh. Yeah, that down throw fair not working right there. DIN, pretty hard to punish uh, unless you read it. Oh. Straight but plums? You see... Not quite. Yeah. You don't want to commit to hitting Plum with something. Oh, that down smash though. So good. That back to the down smash. Hit. Yeah. Committing to hitting Plum can be pretty bad because you can just hit it back to the other player with minimal commitment. And so it's not like Hydrant where you have to do a certain amount of percent. So that's a big difference there between Pack and Rayman. But that jab. Oh my god. That jab looking like a projectile sometimes. Uberstar really trying to get something going, uh, trying to extend this lead that he has on Prolific right now. That back air, like I said before, back air and down smash, such good moves. Uh, Rayman has such... That oh, ledge, that, 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 that ledge direction it, it tilted him. It tilted Prolific. <laughs> tilted Prolific. Um, anyways though, still loser Prolific out here, and... Prolific has done a pretty good job. Even though he plays DK, he's done a better job recovering versus that down air than Peach and uh, Pit players have, which is pretty surprising um, in this top eight. And will we see a setup? Oh, no. not using the the slants to kind of corner him on that tech chase right there, but getting another setup here. Now kind of cornered. Smart. Up there. Oh, Over there. and that fair right there. That, Surprised well, I didn't see a nope, giant punch. Close. That back air right there. Not quite. Recover high. Two hits. Oh. You're really trying to get this kill off right here. Um, prolific again. Recovering Ooh, high and doing shield. it well. Yeah, that's power shield. And again, prolific really has to get in on this oh! and the What was that? Yeah, the down smash. A nice shield drop into down smash. Classic. Or the new classic, I should say. And, again, it can be pretty interesting. Prolific generally tries to hit shields in a way that's hard to shield grab, but Rayman has some pretty interesting options out of shield. Right now, Prolific is on his last stock here in the first game. Could change at any time. Honestly. Of course, known for ab ab abhorrently great punishes. Yeah, and especially in a comeback situation, we've seen him be the most clutch player, and that back air right there. 
And suddenly things are looking a lot more even. Um, punch punish is deck. weird. Yeah, Punish is weird versus Rayman, but he's not exactly a floaty. And DK can get some punishes off on him. And he has a giant punch on deck. And Uber trying to close his yep. stock out. Uh -oh. Um, yeah, again. Um, you kind of have to pull hop to cover that. And that down smash, not getting the back hit. Real tense situation for both. That back air coming out. Okay, smart. Gonna up B. Oh, the up air coming out. Uh, Uber trying to use the plum, but kind of gets it used against him. Alright, back here. Forwarder, not quite. Get, got to get up in invincibility. Coming through. 143 on Prolific. Oh, and Prolific trying to push this lead into his favorite. No, up oh, jeez! Oh the super armor coming through. Is... And Prolific takes it. So Prolific brings it back? <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty interesting end of game one, if I'm being honest. Uh, did not ex that out of all things, I did not expect that. So we're going to game two now. Prolific stealing a game from Uber. Yeah. High high, high robbery. Here we go. Three, yeah. Two, one, go. T O S the counter pick. Yeah, this is interesting. I mean, uh, this is definitely a Rayman kind of like you can set up camp. Um, fun fact, obviously not in a tournament setting, but when hazards are on, he can push away the TOS hazard with a plum. Pretty weird. But anyways, uh, just getting back into it. This is That's... kind of interesting. Uh, Rayman's definitely kind of want to use the space to his advantage, but Prolific's the player who's going to put percent on you as soon as he touches you. So you can't let him like get in on your pressure and your camp and everything. Um, and like we see right here, the good platform, uh, mm -hmm. not platform, corner tech chase. Oh. And once Rayman uh, has you in the corner, like. you can do a lot of nasty stuff to you. And it's harder for Rayman, I mean, not harder for Rayman, it's harder for Prolific to escape these Rayman setups by recovering high. Oh, the fair coming through. But yeah, recover high is a little bit worse when you don't have the, the world that never yeah. was platform. Hmm. All right. Straight plum. <laughs> yeah. And but look at getting these light snap recoveries. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't see a down smash come out of that uh, tornado setup, but. And we didn't see a dare there, um, hmm. lucky enough for Prolific, but he still gets the front hit of down smash out of the way, um, but that front hit of down smash is not, I'm not, gonna hit. not nearly as strong, and Prolific has to come, like, basically take the stock if he wants to win this game, uh, which is an obvious statement, but I mean, like, it's very Back hard, for... he's just... oh, there he's we give... go, he's, he's thrown out, he's thrown out the honor, back yeah. throw is legal oh. now, yeah, but hey, that's kind of what he has to do. He usually uses back throw to combo. Ever since Empire 5, I've been seeing him do that. Um, so, shout out to back throw for combos. But yeah, he still uses that as a kill throw for mix ups on DI and everything. But, prolific, getting something started, uh, getting that air, oh. up air, fair, S classic. Signature punish from prolific. Yeah, honestly, that down And now he has the lead. Things. Yeah. Like I said, if he took that, uh, that first stock, it would be very easy to make the comeback. But, nice fair from up. Uber starts going all the way out there. And that fair is such an impressive pull for Rayman. Uh, the disjoint on the initial hit is huge. And getting the jab. Oh, almost a dare. That's a super arc right. and ledge snap kind of saving him. Oh, is this going to be the... Nope, not the dare from there. I will. I will. saw it. Yeah. <clears throat> a fair, fair. smart landing. Last stock for Uber here in game two. Yeah. Mm. And Uber Star. He, it's like he kind of has to work with these well percent setups where he doesn't have a bunch of tornado into down smashes 
um, and on Prolific, he's been especially struggling to get these dares off. So it's really interesting to see how Uberstar gets like low percent setups off on uh, Prolific. But that down smash coming through, or like low to mid. So now we're in, kind of in that situation. And Ooh, Prolific smash. hitting with the F smash. Nice recovery uh, coverage right there. Um, well, if it goes catching. Zero. Yeah, when Rayman is using Plum to go uh, slightly higher than ledge or just high in general, you have to remember he's kind of in recovery from move animation. So those up tilts, those down smashes, those up smashes to get him up, those can be countered and uh, punished for the in lag animations like Pearl showed. Well, we got game three here. Prolific with huge advantage throughout the set now. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Call us and the counter pick. Interesting to see. I mean, I feel like uh, we hardly get to see Prolific on this stage, but DK can probably do some nasty stuff here. Uh, both the blast zones kind of serve to make uh, killing easier here. Uh, but Prolific, again, I feel like Uberstar definitely has to adapt to Prolific going high, or else he's not going to be able to get his dare set up like he can versus other people. Nope. Straight plum. And again, prolific pushing this advantage, but that grab box coming through, being that attack. And there, down smash, but not the back hitbox, so right. it's not going to do much. Oh, and the F smash coming through. We've seen prolific use that F smash to catch people um, off guard, all top 16 basically, and he's used it well. No, no, no. <coughs> No doubt about it. <clears throat> yeah, and that setup, uh, he kind of basically Uberstar tries to read like tech away or the sliding tech and then tech, um, but isn't able to get it off. But, anyways, uh, almost that giant punch right there would have been crazy, but doesn't get it. Now, kind of just resetting to neutral and everything. Both of these characters were pretty strong back airs, but. Pretty interesting to see how he didn't want to get that, uh... Oh, the fair right there. Fair. But yeah, it's interesting to see how, even when Prolific does that, like, long up B, uh, that Uberstar isn't trying to dare it for some reason. But that fair coming through, and Uberstar right. able to recover. Oh. oh, getting the setup right there. Fair. And the fair that, coming not through. Quite. Not the best DI on there. Straight plum. That oh, fair will. Reading the option. And Uberstar on turn with point. stock. <laughs> 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 okay, Pro. And Pro not knowing how plum works, trying to stall into the blast zone, but just ends up killing himself. That's pretty funny. Why? Honestly. <laughs> this is... It's so funny to see a DK on plum just dying for no reason. But this yeah, like uh, Uberstar doing these tech chases. And I know, I know, it's, I know it's hilarious, it but it also, I know it's hilarious, but it also sounds like something Pro would do. Yeah, um, Pearl not exactly the most experienced in this matchup, but Mirror DK showing his punches off right now. Um, getting the down, that down B is so good for tech chase and the recovery and everything. It, not quite gonna do it yet. Oh, up smash up will. Smash. Finally catching the high recovery. It's been all last set. Last um, piece. Uber started to take yeah. the stock to stay alive. Oh, and Uberstar trying to get something started. Um, he's fair, he's down tilt, and the recovery high. I feel like if Uber covered it last time and he knows how bad recover low is for DK, he just start covering high almost exclusively. Fair. But that fair coming out, not enough time for the adaptation. Yeah, and Pro wins, solid 3-0. It's a close game.